Welcome back. Government isn't handling South Africa's COVID-19 fight alone. It's being advised by a group of experts from various fields. And, of course, that's led to a well-coordinated and rather impressive response. Let's talk to Professor Glenda Gray, who's part of the COVID-19 Ministerial Advisory Committee. She's also President and CEO of the South African Medical Research Council. Glenda, thanks for your time. So we've heard this week is critical in deciding how South Africa responds and manages the virus. Just elaborate on that for us, for the benefit of those who missed that briefing last night. So I think it's very important now for the next two weeks to try and do as much testing and screening in communities. So up until now, uh, we've been behind on community testing. So we haven't been able to get a feel of how much um, infection is in communities. And so government has now increased and scaled up testing. And the next two weeks will be critical because this will give us an indication about how much community transmission has occurred and how many cases there are in communities in South Africa. So how accurate then, Glenda, is this number, given that we haven't done mass testings in so many areas across the country? Well, I think what we have to do is we have to increase the, the norm, we have to increase the amount of people we're testing. So it's very hard to know where we're going when we don't know um, how many people we need to reach. And so what we've had to do in the last couple of weeks is scale up testing to get a real taste of um, the community spread. And so we're hopeful that the, that lockdown has minimised community spread, but we need to make sure that these indications are indeed accurate. And the only way we know that is to make mass testing available so that we can see um, how far the epidemic is in the communities that we are assessing. And what are South Africans not doing properly in this fight? What more can we do to bring down that curve? I think what we have to do is respect social distancing, washing your hands, making sure that you don't uh, mix too, too much, uh, go out in, in the streets and, and, um, and not practice personal hygiene. And, um, and, and respect the, the distance between people. So we have to do our part, and that is staying at home and only going out when we have to, and to try and minimize uh, um, community spread. And at the same time, we have to allow the government to screen communities to make sure we understand who's symptomatic so we can test them. So we have to give um, the, the testing services chance to get to the communities um, that we haven't yet reached. And then, of course, the chair of the Ministerial Advisory Committee, Professor Salim Abdul Karim, spoke about improving healthcare facilities in South Africa. Is that really possible, given that we've been struggling with this for decades? Well, this is critical because um, as we start to ease the lockdown, we will see probably an increase in transmission as we as we move back into um, our, our normal our normal way of life. And so, we have to be prepared for the epidemic. And so, we're beginning to see. We're at the beginning of the epidemic, and the next phase of the epidemic will be the medical phase. We will start to see more and more sick people. And so both the public and the private sector have to increase their ability to cope with the mass demands that uh, COVID infection will make. Remember, it's, we're going into winter, so we're going, to have, we're going to have flu as well. And so we're going to have to contend with both flu and the COVID epidemic at the same time. And so we have to make space. We have to realign our, our health facilities to make sure that we can address COVID. Um, remember, a lot of chronic pe people who have chronic infections have got their six-month treatments, and so they'll stay out of the health sector. And our, it's our job to make sure that other people um, minimize their use of the health sector to make it available for those who are sick during winter. Yeah. So going into winter, though, what special care do we need to take? Because we know that other countries who encountered this during winter really suffered. We need to make sure we have had our free vaccine. And we need to make sure our healthcare workers get their flu vaccine. So vaccine, having a flu vaccine will help us differentiate between those who have COVID infection and those who might have flu. So it's very important. The, the less flu we see this winter, the better for everybody and the better for our healthcare workers. And so we have to make sure that we also flu spread by also poor hygiene, hand washing, making sure you, you cough into your, your, um, your elbow, that you, you don't kiss or greet people, um, you rather wave and, um, and, um, and when you cough, rather try and cough here instead of into your hand, which you then might touch another surface. So it's critical for us to, to, opt, to optimize our hygiene practices, both to prevent flu and to prevent COVID-19. All right. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. That, of course, is Professor Glenda Gray, the President and CEO of the South African Medical Research Council.